Good morning, friends. Welcome to Project Life 2022. This is week 41. I am a couple of weeks behind, but I'm catching up. Um, I've been starting to think about December daily, and I have recently upgraded my phone, so there's been a bit of a learning curve. And there's also a video, it was a 12 by 12 layout that I promised you um, that I actually filmed on my old phone. So I'm just trying to figure out how to upload it. And that'll be coming hopefully this weekend. So stay tuned for that. But for now, this is what I'm working with. So I tried to kind of incorporate some of the colors from the photos which is something I like to do every now and again, just to kind of throw myself a challenge. But um, there was a lot of red as a dominant color in a couple of the photos. So I think it's kind of what inspired the color scheme. And I went through some of my DIY embellishments that just live here in a little tray um, in one of the drawers of my desk, because I often, out of sight is out of mind, right? Um, and what else was I going to tell you? I think I'm going to try stamping in red ink for my for my title card. So I'm going to grab some Distress Oxide ink and I'll be right back. I'm back. So if you are new to my channel, I have a collection of Distress Oxide inks. And I tend to use them... For when I'm stamping anything in color, I just feel like I made the investment. I really should be using them more. Um, and these are the only colored inks I have. The other inks that I have in my collection are for like stamping on, say, photos. So there'd be some stays on. Um, there's the scrapbook.com black hybrid ink. There's, But like for black inks, I've got a couple of different kinds. But for my colored inks, it's only Distress Oxide. I just feel like, why do you need to have all of the things? So I'm thinking candied apple seems to be the best match for the reds in my photos. I'll grab that and I will uh, grab my stamp block and I will get started. One of the bonuses of having a brand new camera is I have a lot more memory to work with, which means that when I'm filming my videos, I don't need to edit them uh, and put them on four times speed, which is what I've had to do pretty much since I started my channel. So you'll be able to um, watch these videos on two speed, and I'm sure that'll be a lot less jumpy and you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing so I also have a little bit more memory so I can show you more of uh, my process and this is just me uh, taping down or sticking down my photos which is something that I usually have done before I start again just to save um, to save the time so we'll see let me know in the comments down below if uh, the two speed is a little easier on your eyes than the insane four speed that I was doing before. So, um, a lot of these papers are, um, they're like a recollections 12 by 12 pad, but it's that really thin copy paper weight. Um, and so, I just wanted to try to pull in some neutral colors to let the red pop. And I had the idea to cut down that little strip that I'm putting there on my title card. Um, it's a branding strip from a really old pad that's in my stash. And I cut it at, um, I had it so that I fishtailed it right after the 10 for the 10th month. I thought, look at me go, all smart. And I wanted to use this tag. It's a DIY embellishment from eons ago. And I thought, mm, I'm going to put an eyelet in it. So I grabbed my uh, We Are Memory Keepers Bloom container here and just picked out a, a gold eyelet. And you're going to watch me fight with it here in a minute with my, uh, with my tool. The 
I think it's a crocodile. Is that right? Um, is, oh my gosh, I've had this for probably 15 years and I struggle with it every single time. Um, I don't know if it's because the eyelets that I, I buy are too much or if just the, the tool itself is getting worn. So I just had to stomp it down there two or three times. And now I'm going to put in some Baker's twine. Apologies if you can hear snoozing. I am recording, and as always, I have two little Yorkie critters um, right by my phone as I record. They're laying on the bed with me here as I as I do my voiceover. So, yeah, I didn't end up finding the stamp. I mentioned that later on um, in the video. I actually wanted to put forty first week just to change things up a little bit. And I could not find the ST stamp that I thought was on this sheet, but I'll have to go through. I know I've got it in my stash somewhere. It must be with one of my number stamps. It'd be a very logical place to find it, I'm sure. And I end up um, stamping down this week twice, which is the other really awesome thing about Distress Oxides. You can layer them on each other. Oh, that thing is filthy. I have to wash it. The ink, uh, the ink from that purple foamy stamp cleaner thing uh, has stained it terribly. It makes me wonder why they don't just make them black to begin with. <laughs> like, then that way you wouldn't have to look at them and be all like, oh, gross. So using my Citrus Twist kits um, stamps, I love the scripty fonts in these. I know I've said it in videos. I will keep saying it. These are some of my absolute favorite stamps for Project Life. I like being able to just stamp down something scripty and pretty and actually liking it because I'm not a huge fan of my own um, handwriting, which is why I've been trying to um, do more typing and less uh, journaling on labels, especially when I have a longer story to tell. Yeah, so this one ends up, this um, four by six card here on the bottom ends up being fine. And I didn't want that you to go all the way off the, the card there. So I just put a little scrap piece of paper. There's really not a whole lot I can tell you about what's going on here. It's pretty self-explanatory, but um, yeah, I'm going to be getting out some stickers here shortly. I ended up going with the black, red, white, gray kind of craft color on this, um, on this spread. And I'm very happy with the way it, it worked out. I need to do this more often mm -hmm. and just kind of pick colors that coordinate with my, uh, with my photos because I'm always way happier with the results. I think I pulled a few of these papers from my uh, neutral kit. Mm -hmm. Just fighting to put some, that little vellum thingy underneath my hello. And I think it ended up being a little too much red, black, white, neutrally colors and um, when I start pulling my stickers here in a moment, you're going to see I pull in a little bit of green and it doesn't end up looking Christmassy. I was worried that it would, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. And oh yes, this is where I put 41st week or try to. And these are Citrus Twist um, puffy stickers from, I don't even know how long ago, but they've lost a lot of their sticks. So I end up having to take my tweezers to hold them and put a little bit of glue on them just to make sure they stay put. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Do you use a lot of little tiny thickers and letter and word stickers in your project lifing? And if you do, I would love to know what you use because Citrus Twist 
um, they're a great size, but they are an American company and I live in Canada. And a lot of the time when I place an order, it has to be a really big order to make it worthwhile um, coming through customs. And I always end up spending money, extra money on the duty as it comes through. So, you know, a $50 order quickly becomes a $75 or $100 order. I'd love to know what you use. Or maybe you just stamp and you don't use thickers and stickers. I would love to hear from you too. So yeah, this is just me pulling out some of the stickers that are always on my desk. I have to film a new updated craft room video. I've made some changes to my craft room recently and I don't think I've done any real doing a new tour, so I'll have to do that. Maybe I'll do that in the new year. Because, or maybe before I start December daily, that's probably smarter. Because the room is usually an explosion from November pretty much till the end of January with all the Christmas crafting and things that end up happening. Yeah, just trying to figure out what I want to do. Putting some stickers here, there, and everywhere. A lot of the stickers that I have left are pretty theme-based. I think I'm going to have to replenish my, uh, my puffy sticker stash. Oh, yeah, I should have probably used the pumpkin word stickers there. It's not too late. I'll probably use them for Halloween. I'll have to remind myself and take them out. That'll actually be um, a good challenge. I have some Halloween things in my stash, and I'm looking forward to putting them to use too. I think I'll probably end up doing that this next video, so week 42 and week 43. We had kind of a Halloween-themed party early. So we'll see if I can use up some of my uh, crepe paper um, collection. So I'm just journaling. Again, I said I hate journaling on anything, but labels, it's less offensive to the eye. So that's just what I'm doing here. And I will stick those down. And this page is basically done. Um, as I said, I only sped it up two times speed. So I usually do a page in about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how fussy I want to get. And this one was about 26 minutes um, after I had already chosen all the cards and um, printed out my pictures. I do those two things before I even turn the camera on because I have some serious issues <laughs> when it comes to picking cards. I always overthink things. So I'm just journaling about my the look on my husband's face in this photo is hilarious. His sister is dressing him up in some random clothes that she had brought up to donate and draped that shawl thing around his neck and we were all having a good laugh. So, all right, I'm coming back to you live in a moment. Okay, folks, I think I'm done. I am going to put this page in a page protector and I'll be right back. Alrighty, week 41, all done. I was looking for a stamp in my stash. I'm pretty sure I have one that says ST, like as in 31st or 41st, but I can't seem to put my hands on it at the moment. I'll keep looking, but essentially this is it. This photo is hilarious. So there we go. As always, thanks for coming to hang out with me, friends. And uh, stay tuned for some, some more December Daily coming soon. And I will see you next video. Bye for now.